guys, I'm Manpreet and I make book related videos on this channel and I also have a vlogging channel where I'm currently documenting my fitness journey. So make sure you subscribe to both of my channels and follow me on my social media. And now we are going to get started with today's video. The video is about how to develop a habit of reading books. A lot of you have been asking me how you really want to read books but you cannot get around reading books. How you really want to read more books but you cannot get around reading books. This is the answer to all those questions. I have 7 tips for you guys to help you develop the habit of reading so that you can read more and better books. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Tip number 1, pick good books. It's so obvious but a lot of people make this mistake that you know they just pick up any book they want and then they don't like it and then they're like I hate reading books. But the thing is you haven't found the good book yet which would make you fall in love with reading. So it's very very important that you go and pick a good book. You do a lot of research, watch some reviews. A lot of people say I do not really like to watch reviews but the thing is it helps you find better books. If you really know a little bit about the story you can make a decision whether you want to read it or not so watch reviews follow people who read more books ask for recommendations and then pick the books you're very sure about that you will like even then there's a chance you may not like it but you know this really will work if you really want to read more books my tip number two is to pick easy books now the biggest mistake people make is when they want to start reading books what they do is they pick up a classic Jane Austen, Robert Louis Stevenson, like his books are like I, in the beginning I started with his books and I could not read any books, I didn't read for a year, this is what happens when you pick difficult books in the beginning, so as a beginner reader who wants to develop the habit of reading books, you must pick up books that are according to your age group as well as that are from an easy genre and written in easy manner so that you can you know just go through the book and then eventually develop the habit of reading books. Do you get my point? Number three tip of mine is to schedule time to read. A lot of people struggle with not being able to read books because they are not having a proper schedule where they are prioritizing reading. So you have to do that if you really want to get into it. Because you know when you start something it's always difficult. The learning curve is always slow, steady and difficult. So when you start reading books the same thing happens. To be able to you know get over it you have to schedule time where you have to push yourself to read once you do it for i think maximum a month maximum like that's like the maximum you will be able to read books as a you know very dedicated and, and as an avid book reader that's my challenge to you try it my tip number four is do not get under pressure there are a lot of people even i used to do that in the beginning that i would see people reading five books a week i would see people reading three books a week and i used to be like oh my god i cannot read as much i'm not a good reader i also began with chetan bhagat and durjoy data i began with classics though but you know my main phase of reading began with chetan bhagat and durjoy data and there were so many people telling and saying uh, uh, things on internet how the people who read these authors are pathetic but that's the point that I'm trying to make. Do not get under peer pressure. You have to build your own reading speed when you are starting out and that's something which completely depends on you. Do not pressure yourself. Just read for the fun and enjoy your reading, okay? My tip number five is to pick the genres you like. A lot of people ask for recommendation that, oh, you know what, I want to develop the habit of reading and please suggest me some books. And there are those intellectual readers who would give you read Jane Austen. I'm not, you know, trying to say anything bad about Jane Austen because she is the author you really need to read. But the thing is, when you're starting out, it is not the right kind of book. I am telling you because I have tried it myself. I really want you to read the genre you like. It depends on what age group you belong to and it depends on the I would say what kind of movies you like because that's the kind of genre, that's the way you can pick up the genre you like when you're just starting out. So always make your decisions based on your preferences and your choices, okay? That is really important for you to be able to like books because maybe the genres I read, you will never ever like them. This is very natural. And you have to understand that and you have to pick the people you can really rely on for recommendations and only listen to them while following the points I'm mentioning in this video, okay? My tip number six 
is to connect with people who really like to read. You are lucky that you are watching this video right now because my next video is going to be my book club announcement and you can join that but only if you like the book which we are going to read in a month, okay? Anyhow, you have to connect with the people who like reading books. It may be online, offline, in any possible manner. There are a lot of meetups of book, uh, book readers. There are a lot of uh, online book clubs. There are a lot of offline book clubs. There are libraries. You have to just get around the people who like to read. For example, I get really inspired when I travel in Delhi Metro because I see a lot of people reading books while traveling. And this is the kind of inspiration I look for when I want to read even more. So if you want to develop the habit of reading, this is the same kind of thing that will inspire you. My tip number seven is to document your reading journey. I would suggest that you sign up to Goodreads and this is not a sponsored video, they don't even know who I am. But if you sign up there, you are able to track what books you are reading, what are your views about them, what books you want to read and it really helps. Because sometimes you are like, oh my god, what book should I read? I cannot decide. And then you can go over all those books you thought you would want to read at one point of time and actually read them. It truly helps and also Goodreads challenges and reading challenges also help and I think I do have a video about that where I introduce you to some reading challenges that can help you read even more books. So yes guys, these are my seven tips which I think really help me develop the habit of reading and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys to all of those people who really want to develop the habit of reading more books. This is how it really works for at least me and I hope it will work for you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back with another video very soon. This is Manpreet signing off.